The US housing market has been on fire this year. And here in the Austin area, it's been even more intense because of the influx of all these high paying jobs and the rapid population growth. There are signs we are entering a slowdown. Some are even calling the boom officially over because of lower sales numbers at the beginning of the summer. The good news is this is gonna create a window of opportunity, but only for those who are willing to act before everybody else figures out what's going on. Stick around for this video and I'll explain exactly what to expect over these next several months and show you that if you really wanna buy a house in the Austin area, now is the time to start looking because if you wait, you could miss out on a huge opportunity. <laughs> Let's take a quick minute and talk about what it's been like to be a seller over these last six to nine months. For the most part, there's very little you could do wrong, except maybe price the house too high. You could literally ask for anything, buyer to pay all the closing costs, reduce realtor commissions, six month lease back after closing that the buyer pays for, and probably one of the biggest ones, seller will pay absolutely nothing to fix or repair anything on the house. Sellers could get away with this because buyers have been so obsessed with getting a house, no matter what the cost. They lost touch with what a lot of people would call simple common sense. Now the primary reason this happened is there were very little homes available for sale and a huge number of buyers who are working with historically low interest rates and lots of cash that they were just itching to spend. A typical listing will go like this. It's listed on a Thursday or a Friday and by Monday, there would be anywhere between 10 and 30 offers on that house, and most of them would be over the list price. Now, there are two things that happened during this process. First, prices shot up so fast that buyers found themselves priced out of certain neighborhoods, and many began to question whether or not these prices were sustainable. Think about it. If there was a neighborhood with 100 houses in them, and they were all valued between three and $400,000, and five of them sold for substantially more, let's say over $500,000. Does that mean that the other 95 houses are now suddenly worth $500,000? Only if there are enough buyers who are willing to pay the higher price. Because you see, another thing that happened is that a lot of buyers got frustrated with this very competitive market and dropped out completely. They stopped looking. Fast forward to today, and we're beginning to see things cool off just a little bit. Houses are sitting on the market longer, which means they're not getting multiple offers in those first couple of days. Part of the issue is that list prices have gone up in response to the spike in buyer demand. But if that demand is not there anymore, those prices will eventually have to be adjusted to attract buyers. So the other thing we're beginning to see are price reductions. And the more motivated that seller is, the bigger the reduction. If someone took a job in another state and has to sell their house here, they are going to be more willing to do bigger reductions in a shorter period of time than someone who is just testing the waters. Which brings us to the million dollar question. If buyer demand has gone down, is that because A, the demand has been satisfied, or B, there are too many buyers sitting on the sidelines who are not actively looking for a house? My forecast is that over the next couple of months, we're going to see reductions in the median price points all across the Austin metro area because we're going to continue to see a bigger gap between the list price and the sales price. And it's not going to be in the positive direction like we've been used to. We will begin to see more and more houses selling for less than the list price. And because of the delay in reporting, most people are not going to be even become aware of this until after it's already happened. Here's an example. If a house sells today for $50,000 less than the list price, that sales price won't be recorded until that transaction closes, which will be 30 to 60 days from now. And the overall reporting, which shows the market statistics, won't be published for another 30 days after that. Now here's the other part of it. If there are a large number of buyers sitting on the sideline waiting for something to happen, when they see that kind of reporting, they're going to jump back into the market. And if they come back into the market in large numbers, all of that buyer activity could actually work to push prices back up again. So I believe we're going to see a window between 60 and 90 days when there will be a number of opportunities in this market. But you're only going to find those opportunities if you start looking now. 
Now you might want to check out the video I did on the big increase in property taxes that's just right around the corner. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. All of my contact information is in the video description. So don't be shy. Let's make your real estate dreams come true.